Hey guys, so boys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Shit's Creek Season 2, Episode 7 of Canada. So without further ado, let's get it started. Good morning. Hey, Twyla. I hear congratulations are in order, Mrs. Rose. Thank you, dear. For what? Oh, should I not say anything yet? Well, you could say something. Think of it as a clue. Not say something about what? Your wife's big announcement? Again, dear, clue. You running for town council? What? Excuse me. You're running for town council? No, I'm not running for town council. Oh. I don't find it. I... Okay, yeah, are we ready to order, counselor? You go ahead. <laughs> Have you seen my black shoe? It's a lace-up, probably lost in the sea of your dirty clothes. No. Uh, what is going on here? Why are your clothes crammed under my bed? It's just temporary storage, David. Look at your things. Look at your life. I have been distracted. At the cafe. Because we're friends. Oh, right. Um, so then where is Twyla going to sleep tonight? Be because I'd say she could stay under my bed, but all your disgusting clothes are stuffed under there. So just wondering where she'd sleep. Stop doing that with your face. Hmm. Bob. Now that uh, Ray stepped down from council, I gather his seat is up for head against the wall here every day. Well, I'm not banging my head against the wall, but if I were to run, I'd need support from people like you. Boy, uh, so if you uh, if you got this, uh, that would mean we'd work together here at the garage and on council. If I didn't know any better, I, I might think you had a crush on me. <laughs> well, that, that's funny. I'm only teasing. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't, I know. don't mean to embarrass you. Not embarrassed. You have no reason to be embarrassed. <laughs> You're a happily married man. Oh, my. And so am I. Okay, gotta go, Bob. Well, I don't plan on losing, but thank you for the vote of confidence. Johnny, nobody plans on losing, but with all due respect, this is kind of a different playing field for you. Roland. I ran the second largest retail video chain in North America, so... Oh, that's good to hear. So you're used to coming in second, huh? Could I get a nomination for him, please? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to help you out here, okay? I've been in politics for 18 years. And let me tell you something, pal. It ain't a cakewalk, okay? Say goodbye to your privacy. You walk into a restaurant, everybody's gonna know who you are. Well, everyone knows everyone here because there's only one restaurant. I mean, just taking your boy for an ice cream cone. Does it matter? Where are you going? None of your business. Are you seeing someone? Not exactly. Well, you're sounding very sketchy right now. I'm going to a bar to meet someone. Who? I don't know yet. So she's going to a bar to get laid then? Let's see. Uh, no, she is going to a bar to have her needs met mm. by some lovely gentleman she's yet to meet who is cute enough to sleep with but not nearly mature or stable enough to marry. I want that. Well, you can't come. Because everyone will think we're together. Okay, I think you're giving yourself a lot of credit. It's, uh, it's a funny thing. There seems to be a rumor going around about me. I heard that one. It's only because you converse with women easily and you dress so well. I wouldn't give it another thought. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Which rumor are you talking about? The one about me running for council. No, that was about me, John. You were with me when Twyla said that. If this continues, I'll have to call a neurologist. No, this is another rumor, Moira. A rumor about me running for council. From whom did you hear this one? Well, I, I don't know where it started, but the gist of it is I'd be a, a shoe-in and could really get things done. Well, there's no question it's about people. it. Yeah, well, that goes without saying. Listen, I know it's a giant step down from anything I've done in the past, but... Exactly. It's beneath you. Well, I just worry that the people who are spreading this rumor might be a little disappointed, that's all. Well, you can't worry about them. Hey. 
Hey. Are you waiting for someone? Mm -hmm. Okay. And while you're here by yourself, you never get this almost uncontrollable urge to talk to people or be complimented or... I know everyone in this town. So for the most part, I would rather be here by myself than engage in meaningless conversation with people I don't care about. Totally. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Because I enjoy my own company more? Of course. Of course. Okay. Can I have everyone's attention, please? If I could just, okay. Thanks, right. Jazz. Mm, no, no, no. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, just because you spend all your time trying to sell the town and get out of here, so. Twyla, dear, what was it this morning that made you say I would make such a great councilwoman? Oh, I just heard you were running. Are you? No, not. <laughs> She's not interested in politics. Mm. Although I, I can see why someone might think that. I certainly know how to command a crowd, and I've never been one to shy away from a good fight. I don't think it's such a bad idea for someone else to run. A little healthy... You know how at home I am at sketchy bars? Who are you going with? Um, with Stevie, we're gonna meet some randoms. So, um, when I go missing, just feel free to tell people that the last place I was seen was at a sketchy bar on the outskirts of town meeting randoms. Okay, well, this isn't fair, David. I'm the one who should be at a sketchy bar meeting randoms. I'm the one who should go missing. Well, then come. I can't. Why? Well, for one thing, this mask doesn't come off for another 20 minutes. You look beautiful. Thank you. And second, I told myself that I would enjoy my own company tonight. Okay. Um, well, we're going to a bar and you're on the rebound, so text me when you're dressed. I'm serious, David. I have to admit I'd given it a little more thought than I'd let on. Oh? Yes, I actually picked up a nomination form. Really? John, I didn't realize... No, 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 I'm glad you talked me out of it. Yeah, because I thought about the job, what it would entail, and, you know, listen, Roland drives me crazy when he's not even around, but can you imagine <laughs> working with him every day? <laughs> I'm laughing about it right now. Did you know Jocelyn is running? No. Oh, my God, this gets better and better. So the two of them on council together? Is there a more frightening thought? Holding you back? It'd be a few weeks of my time. And, you know, someone said it might be a nice project for me. And would that someone be you? Jocelyn practically begged me to take the bait. So you're running for council? Looks like it. Oh, well, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Hey, that's really good news. I'm sorry, John. I just got swept no, up in No, no. Listen, as long as one of us is running, okay? That's the important thing. It doesn't matter which one of us is running. I thought it would be me, but then you talked me out of it. But that's okay. Please, John, I'm going to need you every step of the way. Hey, and I'll be right behind you, Myra, supporting you. No, it didn't. Well, at least we tried. I agree. <sighs> Oh, uh, I notice the man is no longer sleeping under the pool table. Well, I'm surprisingly good at pool, so. Hmm. Wait a second, is this like a reverse hustle where you say you're good, but you're actually terrible? Um, I don't know. You want a break? Um, from what? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, she really cleaned it. Don't do it. <laughs> she put on her face. At least she cleaned the room, though, honestly. No, and then uh, their, fa uh, their father and their mom, the mom and the dad, like, running, like, oppose each other, but then he's like, you know what? You run, I'll stay behind. 
Because <laughs> Jocelyn is running, so she wants to beat her. I hope they continue that, man. I really want to see that, like, Jocelyn and her go at each other at city council to become a, like, to be in a city council, you know. I want to see what uh, Roland's going to do to do uh, to help his wife and stuff like that. Or even freaking Moria's husband, what he's going to do <laughs> to help her. I can't, those two, those dudes are going to go at each other, bro. And I would definitely want to see that, man. And then I think Stevie and, and David are still, they still have a thing, bro. I feel like they are still going to be together at some point. Who knows? But we'll see, man. Great episode. Hilarious, man. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.